Hello everybody, welcome back. Minor Mountain here today. We are in the uh, liftoff drone simulator. I've got a, uh, it's kind of a making of Philly corkscrew and the uh, crane power loop that I did. A couple, uh, video I did. Uh, and I had a hard time doing it, but I did find that uh, in practicing for it and trying to do it, I, I messed up a lot, but I, I hit some really cool gaps and did some really cool stuff that I, surprised myself. Uh, so I wanted to throw that some of that stuff in here. However, I also wanted to talk to you about, you know, what do you do to warm up? Like I, I said in the video that, that this is about, uh, that when I fly freestyle, it helps me warm up for races. When I fly races, it helps me warm up for freestyle. So that... That stands true, but but sometimes what I like to do is like like this right here. I like to just get out there and just crank the throttle. You know what I mean? Do some dives, hit some power loops, but just just take your frustrations out on the throttle. That's that's really what I like to do. Do some fast flips. Just start to get a feel for your your quad. Don't uh, don't just jump right into a race. I mean I I can and a lot of times it works out, but if you got a power loop like. And here I, I try. This is a Philly corkscrew attempt. I mess up, but if you and I, I just I'm at a loss for what I want to say here. Uh, so like a lot of times when I'm recording stuff like a race or something, if I mess up a little bit, I, or even if I'm not recording, I won't hit reset. I won't be so quick to hit the reset, and I and I would. Give that as advice. Don't be so quick to hit reset because if you're in a race and you nick something, you hit something and it spins you off 100 feet off track, you don't have a reset button in real life. If you're really using this as a simulator to practice as for FPV flying a quad or whatever, then you should consider that. Uh, now, there's some people I'm sure that are just playing this as a game and that's fine. It's, it's, a, it's a wonderful bit of uh, software. I'm... I'm really happy I got this. That was an awesome dive. <laughs> but these are things I'll do like to warm up. And it's, so like I said, like in real life, you're not going to be able to just hit reset. You're going to have to figure out where you are on the track and get back to the gate that you, you messed up or whatever and, and, and control your momentum. And I would say like arresting your momentum is one of the best skills you can learn. Uh, and a really good piece of advice I got, and it's not just about video games or whatever, uh, if you get mad at something, something's frustrating you, sometimes it's good just to leave it, just to walk away from it for a few minutes, cool off, think about something else, get your mind off it, then come back to it with, with fresh eyes later. Uh, and that's kind of what I do. If I get upset I'll, you know, when I'm trying to hit a gap, I'll just go do something else. Go fly something else, do a power loop, do, do some flips, do something I can know I can land. Check this out. I, I, this is really cool right here. I hit this, but my quad's not damaged, and I'm lined up, so I go ahead and just try a few power loops here. Check this out. <laughs> 30 degrees camera angle is what I have. I just want to reiterate that. 30 degrees camera angle. It looks like 45 to 60 there, just by the way it was so floaty. But um, And I do believe this is pre... This video was shot pre-update so so the physics the falling physics are a little more lifty a little more floaty than normal and this is the the lineup I, I, I you know just the warm-up to get to the the trick if you've seen the video um, and I just wanted to look fresh that's what youtubers do you know it's kind of like dude perfect we, we just give you our best we don't show you the mess ups well I'm kind of showing you the mess ups here I follow this crane so good uh, so I wanted to put it in here. Let's talk a second about pilot-created oscillation. That's another uh, thing that you're going to run into. Like, like if you have to correct for something, and it's going to set you off for your next turn. And then if you have to correct for that, it's going to set you off so, for your next turn. So you see how you keep oscillating. It's kind of like if you're in a car with rear-wheel drive in the winter, and it fishtails one way, and you try to turn it the other way, and it fishtails even further. That's pilot-created oscillation. That's something you need to learn to control quickly. Uh, it, like right here. I missed that. It, it, it sets me up kind of crooked for this, and I'm not lined up perfect. I, I do a pretty cool gap here, and I go for it again, but 
Uh, I believe the mistake happened way back when I was lining up the trick. It was just a little bit of oscillation uh, that set me on a path that I, I couldn't correct from. I couldn't line it back up. And I think that's something really important to consider in your flying as well is that pilot created oscillation. As soon as you can get that under control, realize it's happening and, and arrest it, put a, put a stop to it, then the better off you're going to be, the better off you're going to fly. Right here, look, I crank it to the left just a little too far there. And I'm up to the right. It doesn't totally destroy my line, alignment going in here. And I do it, I wanted to go through the bottom. So I did it again, but I, it's just, just because of that oscillation, something didn't feel right. And a lot of times when you're flying quads, I don't know, for me, it's a feeling. You have to, it's got to feel good. This gap's got to, I can do this. If you're not lined up perfect, you know, sometimes it's better to abort and not smash your quad uh, when you've only got like one or two, you know, it's not like I've got 10 quads and you can just go out and fly recklessly and break a few, you know, I don't, I don't have the budget for that. <laughs> Look at that one, I went through the top of it, through the cables. So like like I said, you know, even trying stuff, having a goal, it's pretty good, but I messed up there and still was a pretty cool trick, you know, I can use that as footage elsewhere. I don't know though, I, I did have a lot of fun doing this, uh, making making the Philly corkscrew and the uh, the power loop gap back there, and it, it was a whole lot of fun. And I just wanted to show that there was, there's so much more to just, just recording a clip. I mean, and this is this is probably two hours of footage that I, I went through. Anyway, that's all I got time for today. Don't forget to hit a like, subscribe. Mind around now. Peace.